I'm walking on a trail in Newcomb in late March. The sun is out and it's a perfect day to do some water sampling. I'm guided by a researcher to a monitoring site at the Arbutus Lake Inlet. I'm LJ Mills. I'm a biogeochemical research support specialist here at Huntington Wildlife Forest. I knew very early on that I wanted to work in science. I was, you know, outdoors a lot as a kid. And I think as soon as I realized that I could have a career in studying animals or the outdoors, that was, I was kind of hooked. LJ works behind the scenes in the Adirondacks on research that can show how climate change is affecting the park. Long-term data collected at the Huntington Wildlife Forest shows weather patterns and outliers like the major flooding in summer 2023 over time. Without all this baseline data, it's gonna be basically impossible to tell what's changing and how much it's changing. If you take the flood that we had here, for instance, um, you know, we know the extent of what flooding can be. And so now we're able to kind of build or adapt to accommodate extremes like that. So I think having a long-term data set really kind of makes the, the future picture clearer as to what can happen. So long-term data can help us adapt our environment to climate change. Maybe it can help people understand it too. With the work that I do in the long-term monitoring uh, network, we have publicly available data that people can look at, can you know chart and look at changes in temperature, changes in hydrology over time. And I think that maybe if people are able to get kind of a hands-on uh, approach to the data, they might appreciate it more or believe in it. I think it's hard to communicate the data in a digestible manner to a lot of people. Um, and I think that's something that we as scientists need to figure out a way to, to make it palatable to everybody. 